what's up guys hope you're having a great day today's restaurant is Kuhio Grill and if you haven't been there before the original is in Hilo and they have had a location in Kaimuki for a while it's on the corner I believe um, off of Wailai Avenue and I think Dole Street right across the street from City Mill um, in that little shopping center with a bunch of restaurants so they're famous for uh, their Hawaiian food and also some other plate lunch items uh, the reason I got this one is I have a friend that constantly goes there and posts on Facebook pictures of this and it looks amazing and it is their uh, fried chicken and it's just doused with the ginger and green onion sauce that you would get with that Chinese ginger uh, chicken sauce and I like that sauce so I thought it was a great combo so we're gonna uh, try it out it comes with some fried rice and it looks massive and smells amazing. The batter looks really uh, light and crispy. And this is a boneless fried chicken, so there's nothing um, in it like bones. Mm. Wow, deliciously crispy. Definitely have to eat it right when you get it. It's just a light batter, almost like a mochiko kind of rice batter. And it's not as heavy as like regular wheat flour. Nice, light and airy and delicious and crispy. I like how their um, ginger sauce is very rustically done. It's just, it's not chopped too finely. It's just kind of um, rough chopped, but it gives it more of a bite and a lot of ginger and green onion flavor. It really goes well with the chicken. And the ginger, I'm not a fan of ginger usually. Um, I don't even eat the sushi ginger, that red stuff but it's not um, potent at all. It really just goes well, probably because they doused some oil on there, so it's partially cooked. So it's not like a sharp ginger flavor at all. It's very delicious. Um, their sauce is really good. And the chicken's really moist. Um, I'm not sure if it's thighs or what. Um, I'm doing a close-up. If you see the little hair-like things, those aren't hairs, they're part of the ginger. Um, but super moist, it's not dry. Like sometimes you get fried chicken and it's really dry inside. And it really, is very good. Now let's try their fried rice. It looks like there's a bunch of meats in there, some egg, green onion. Mmm. A nice smoky flavor and just a really good, yeah, flavor to it that the rice soaks up whatever meat they're using. I'm not sure if it's smoked ham or something. And it's seasoned very well. This is some really good fried rice and you can substitute fried rice for extra with any plate lunch you get. So, and they also serve breakfast and loco mocos. This would really go well with a loco moco. And it's really good with that ginger sauce that gets on it. This is super bomb. Definitely get this. Now, if you do want this fried chicken with the ginger and the green onion special, that comes with the fried rice, be sure to call in and make sure they're making it that day because when I called in, she had to check with the chef to make sure that he would make it for me. And they did, so um, I would hate for you to just drive there and then they don't make it if you're looking for this particular dish. So definitely call in just to check. On my receipt, it does say they're making it Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. So it does say that on the receipt. So maybe it's only on certain days that they make it. Um, and if you're wondering what it cost, it is quite pricey, but it was very good and a big portion. You could probably split it with two people. It is $15.99. So the next dish I picked was the Hawaiian combo. They have different names. I believe the most expensive Hawaiian plate they have is called the Kanak Attack. Um, but they also have uh, affordable plates with just the Lao Lao Mac Salad and rice. Uh, this is the second most expensive one. It has their famous one pound lao lao that they claim they make one pound lao laos. It's got poi, your lomi lomi salmon, some pickled onions, and some haopia. It smells delicious, and of course you get the chili pepper water with it, which I have over here to put my lao lao in. And let's dig in. Initially digging into it and cutting it in half, um, there seems to be a lot of meat in here. Lots of nice cuts of pork. Mm. Flavor just right. Super juicy. I think it's got a good taro leaf to meat ratio. 
sometimes, like I say in my other Lao Lao videos, some people try to cheat you and put too much kalo leaves instead of meat, but this one is just right. The salt is on point, not too salty, not too underdone. And it's perfect. All right, let's put some uh, chili pepper water on it and try it out. Sometimes I get chili pepper water and it's not spicy at all, but there's a little tinge of spice and it's super salty, which makes the food even more salty. But this one's um, got a good balance of a little bit of heat and not too much salt. So it doesn't make your food extra salty. It's pretty tasty. And of course we need some poi. Hard to eat with a fork, no spoon. This one's kind of a little bit watery. Um, I like it a little bit thicker, but I think that's my own personal preference, but you know how it's kind of soupy, but the taste is okay. It's getting all over my mouth because it's kind of soupy, but it's on the fresh side, which is good. I like it that way. I don't like poi too, too sour, um, but some people want it sour, which is supposed to be the real way you eat it, but I don't like things too fermented. All right, next let's try the lomi lomi salmon, which is the tomatoes, onions, and uh, salmon. It's got a good, good flavor. I like the taste of the onions and the salmon and the tomato together. Super good. One of the better lomi salmons I've ever tasted for takeout anyway. Really good. And you get some pickled onion with your dish, which you're supposed to eat with your main. So I'll pair it up with some meat. A nice sour, tart, vinegar taste that kind of cleanses the palate. Still has its crunch. Delicious. And of course, for dessert, it's halpia, which is our coconut pudding. This one looks a little bit different. Let's try it out. Mmm. Really creamy and soft, nice coconut flavor, and just the right amount of sugar. So good. I wish there was more. So tiny, but so delicious. All right, if you're curious about the price for that Hawaiian plate, that comes with the one pound lao lao. You get the pickled onions, poi, lomi lomi salmon, and the hao pia. That is $19.99. Um, quite pricey if you get the kanak attack which comes with uh the extra on top of that would be the kalua pig with that that would be $24.99 so super expensive but hawaiian food is known to be expensive anyway and with rising inflation you're going to see those prices if you're on a budget and you really want lao lao you can get the lao lao plate which is one of the more sim simpler plates they offer and it get it has the one pound lao lao and rice with um a mac salad and that's only $13.99 so that's quite a deal if you're not looking for the other sides and one last bonus they're known for their daily desserts and you can see all the pictures of their desserts online probably on Yelp people take pictures of their beautiful desserts and they write what they have to offer for desserts on their board for the day and today they had blueberry and some other things but I don't really see this often so I want to try it and I like things that are pistachio so this is a pistachio uh, cake and I don't even know who uh, likes pistachio things but I like pistachio breads or cakes that they offer at the grocery store sometimes um, at the commissary anyway and then um, I like pistachio ice cream so hopefully this is good it's just like a nice pristine perfect like layer of cream on top and it's super fluffy and delicious looking Very subtle flavors of the nut. It's not too strong. So if they're using pistachio extract, it's not too strong of it, of a flavor, which is a good thing because sometimes that gets overwhelming. It's kind of perfect. And the cream is very um, light and fluffy. And whatever bottom crust it is, almost like a shortbread, it's really delicious. And just everything's very light. It's not too heavy for a dessert, even though it looks like it. I'm not sure if you can see 
but the bottom crust is super light and just crumbly. And you can taste some nuts in each bite. Very finely chopped though. Wow, that was delicious. I think I'm gonna go into a diabetic coma. I only ate a, like a half of it and I'll probably save the rest for after dinner tonight uh, for dessert. But if you're wondering for their dessert squares, whatever flavor you choose from that day, it is $6.25. So it is quite pricey, but everything's delicious. I have nothing bad, thing, nothing bad to say about any of the dishes I had. Everything tasted great. It was cooked uh, right. The seasoning was on point and the dessert was very luscious and light. And at the same time, it's not too heavy feeling or too sweet to me because I don't really like really sweet things. I think it had just the right amount of sugar in their dessert. Um, also, the service from the time the uh, lady answered the phone to the time I saw her in person, very cheery, very helpful and genuinely nice. Um, their inside is, I didn't get to film it, but very small and quaint, but very clean. So you can dine inside if you want. The only issue is parking's really tight in there. It's very awkward. Um, again, parking in Hawaii is very hard, but I was lucky and I found a stall right away when I got there. But if you're not that good of a driver and you can't maneuver out, um, I'm not sure. You might have to have somebody that's good at driving that can kind of back out or back into the stall so it's easier to get out of there. But other than that, I think that's the only negative is the parking sucks. <laughs> Maybe try going on a non-peak hour if you want to go get something from them. Or um, maybe if you do takeout, just drop someone off to go run in and get it and then uh, pick them up. Just drive around the block or something. But that is Kuhio Grill in Kaimuki on the Oahu location. I have yet to try the original in Hilo, but I'm sure it's just as fabulous. I'll put the address for the Kaimuki location down in the description box below if you're interested in trying it and continue to support local restaurants and mom and pop businesses and if you like this press the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again next week peace out